beautiful people please screenshot this okay guys so what i've done i just went to my home page on the uh, my internet browser i'm using google chrome i searched dollar general locations in new york i had a relative who asked me a while ago now i'll say a couple weeks ago they thought their store was remodeling they live in ithaca so what I'm going to do, I said, well, let me check. So I went to Ithaca. I actually just had them give me the zip code. This is the only store that comes up for Ithaca, New York, okay? So I'm going to jot down this zip code. And then I'm going to put this zip code in my Dollar General app. And I'll show you guys how I do that. Hey guys, so I'm on my home screen in my Dollar General app. So I've already put in her zip code and I selected this store because it was only one store that came up for Ithaca. So if there was multiple stores or if your store was set on a different location, you always select in store, shopping in store, and you come down here and touch change. You put in that zip code, 14850. Get rid of your keyboard, you touch submit. And see how it brought up all these other store locations? What I would do is I would screenshot this and hold on to it because you see how it's showing these stores are within like 10 miles I screenshot this as I scroll up I get all <laughs> it's part of me I was stifling the cough I'll get all the store locations that are nearby and I would go back and I would go back and I will plug in each and every one of these zip codes now that's one way to do it so I'll have a list of all the locations around her area I do not search for individual people I don't there's not enough hours in my life to do that it's just not I do too much I can't get my own stuff done on a regular basis this is why I'm teaching you guys how to do it for yourself. So you can do it whenever you want to. And if you don't want to do the legwork for yourself, then feel free to um, give all your money away to folks, always press confirm, to folks who um, may give you locations for a whole state and then none of them wind up being anywhere near where you consider driving. So I'm going to scroll down to search all categories. And before I do shop all categories, you see down at the bottom next to the sec it's the second icon from the right. It says list. This is my list of saved items. Okay. These are the items that when you guys see me see in my video, I give you the UPC code. I give you the UPC codes. So that you can add these items to your list and i'm going to scroll up to find items that i know are half off this list is so wonky and so crazy that you really really can't trust it i'm looking at this applesauce it's 50 cents whether it says out of stock or not you're not getting applesauce for 50 cents at dollar general so that tells me there are items in her store that are marked 50% off. I'm going to continue scrolling. I see that my fold away collapsible fan, it's $5. I see the Cheez-Its, they're 50 cents. I see the energy drinks, 45 cents. And I see the hair dye. And the hair dye says deals available. It's $6.25. I'm going to click on it. Okay, the original price is $12.50. $6.25 is half price. That's 50% off. 
So that tells me, yes, this store is going to remodel. So I'm going to go back. And if she buys one of these hair dye, then she's still, even if she buys it for a penny, she's going to get $3 cash back in her Dollar General account. So I'm going to click the top left corner and I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm, I'm at shop by category. I'm going to click select view all. And what I'm going to do, first and foremost, I'm going to always check my frozen food because she does not know how long some of the items had been sitting at 50% off. And neither do I because I don't live in Ithaca, New York. I'm going to touch frozen foods and I'm looking for 50% items. Now you see this? These items are half off. Her frozen food is half off. So what I do when you guys see me make a video, I will screen, I will select an item, I'll screenshot it. I'll crop it for you guys. I'm going to do it just like you guys see me do. And then I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back and I'm going to see what else is 50% off. The ice cream is 50% off. Okay, so that tells me today is actually Thursday, April the 18th, that her store will actually penny on Sunday. So she's going to need to be ready to go to this store and be at this store before it opens on Sunday. Now, since this is going to be her first remodel, I'm going to go through the different categories. I'm going to check cereal and see if there's anything half off. Now, usually, I'll say 85% of the time, I don't check every single item. It's not necessary for me. I, um, but until you guys get more versed in what usually pennies at remodels, like this family size Cocoa Pebbles, it's full price. Honey Smacks, full price. The bag of the waffle crunch. So I can just about be certain without going in this store that the cereal's not gonna penny. But you can you don't even have to be that specific. I'm checking cereal for her and her kids. You can just scroll through the grocery category, the food and beverage, until something pops up that's 50% off, like I showed you guys in my previous video. The one with the thumbnail that says, when prepared, you lose unprepared. Now you can continue searching different categories. We'll touch apparel and we'll, we'll touch see all categories. And let's see if any of the underwear. Okay, here's the men's Hanes short sleeve t-shirt. That's 50% off. So I'll screenshot it. And it's the extra large. So if any of you guys go to this remodel, just make sure you get the correct size. Don't just go grabbing up all of the white t-shirts and it may not be the right size. Okay, they have the little girl's panties. So the underwear is going to be going. I'm going to screenshot this. And what I will do is I'll give her my screenshots. And we can also see that the men's size medium white t-shirt is going. The medium black is going. Now see those men's socks, that was the regular price of $7.75. I'm just at some time so used to things being so expensive that when I saw $7.75, I thought, oh wow, that's on sale. Because they're like $12 here. Now the ladies' ankle socks are gone. And it's the ones that have the pink heel. So I'll screenshot that. So that's enough out of this category. Um, she can search it herself. I'm going to jump to party and occasions. And we'll see 
if any of the party supplies, the birthday tablecloths or napkins or balloons, any of that stuff is going to Penny at this store. Now here's the extra large pastel gift bags that kind of looks like Easter, but I'm going to screenshot it anyway because the Easter items are well beyond 50% off right now if i'm not mistaken you guys correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong you have your colorful 321 party brand gift tissue i'm going to screenshot that so that tells me the party supply birthday supply section will penny at this store as well now we already know that this store is going to penny this sunday in three days time okay so i'm scrolling and look we have the bake with love squeeze bottles so also what i call the cake decorating section is going to penny too so you know this is not going to just be your typical food remodel with snacks so we see different categories. So I'm going to touch the top left corner. I'm going to, let's see what's, if anything's going in the auto care section. I love it when you can get the motor oil and stuff like that for your vehicles and different things for 50% off. Now, I don't typically search like this. I scroll like this because my eyes grasp and light and they will light on anything that's green. And I can, you know, thank God, process things that quickly and I can stop and then I go back. That's actually how I search myself. So it would take me forever if I actually had to light my eyes on each item, but I don't have to. Now this is just one method of searching. I'm going to the baby section. And that's a, the green caught my eye, but that's not 50% off, so I can keep it moving. So that's enough for me to tell her, hey, go to the store, um, take your time, and get familiar with the store don't stay in the store scanning every item just go get yourself familiar with what you want and where it's located in the store but she doesn't even have to do that because it's her local store so this is just one part one way to find a dollar general remodel you guys and once you find it to add the items and build your list of what's going to penny at this store. I'm going to click on the health. And I'm going to just scroll until I see anything that's 50% off. Now, remember that remember when I screenshot at different locations? Okay, I can go back to now that I see that this store is in the area that's going to penny. I can go back to my, I went to my top right corner. I'm going to put in this store location. The zip code and I'm going to search and see how it's pulling up all the other stores around this store here's another method so this is her store that's going to penny right here what you would do you would let me move that out the way i don't know if you guys can see my controls for the screen recording you can go to the the next store on the list and select it on the list or you can touch the one within the vicinity of that store I'm going to touch this one over here, 1408 Dryden Road. I'm going to touch make this my store. 
change to this store and then I'll repeat the process. I'll go back. I can go back to the home screen since I've purchased a lot of remodel items. I can touch buy it again. And I can just look to see if they have any of the items that I've already purchased. Or I'm going to click on the top left corner. I can go straight to my list. And just like we did initially, let's look for anything that's 50% off. And to do it this way, you're going to have to know the prices. Okay, there's that applesauce. It's 50 cents. It looks like there's another. There's the Bake With Love, the writing gel. That's a dollar. Party bags. And here you go. Here's the fold away collapsible fan. It's five dollars. So let's go to the home screen. Let's go to shop by category. And I'm going to go straight for the food and beverage. But in the interim, since this is just a store I'm searching, I'm going to write down this store location. And I'm going to touch frozen. I'm going to pull it down so I can see. Okay, Freeville. New York, 13068, 1408 Dryden Road. And for you guys, I always screenshot, I crop it, and I save that so I can put it in a video for you. And I'm going to hit confirm. So I'm going to touch frozen foods, and I'm looking to see what's 50% off. At this time, I'm not seeing any frozen food that's 50% off. So, just because the frozen foods are not 50% off, doesn't mean that this is not a remodel, okay? We're going to tuck this address away for a later date because that just means that this store may penny at a different time. And be mindful, I've share with you guys before the frozen food does not have to be 50% off for this store to remodel okay so I'm going back to my all categories and I always like to start with underwear or apparel and I'm just gonna scroll until I see something that's 50% off and I'll go back However, recall what we saw in the list. We saw the cake writing icing color, the gel, for a dollar. You know you're not finding too much in Dollar General for a dollar. So I'm going to go to the party supplies section. And I'm going to scroll until I see some of that baked with love items and see if I can find anything else that's 50% off. Now I'm not seeing any party supplies that are 50% off, so I'll go back. And let me go check another category. And I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling this can be time-consuming so I do realize that this is why some people don't like to search for their own locations they'd rather just buy them and that's fine whichever way or you know whatever you prefer so I'm going back to the party and occasion I'm just gonna to touch on cake and cake supplies Now, I don't see that bake for love. That's 50% off. I'm going to look for that writing gel. Now, you see where it was $2? This is what I mean about the list being wonky. 
because we all saw that particular color for a dollar. But it's all showing up. And see, this is the one that we saw that was a dollar in my list. But do you see how when I touch it, it's the full price? This is what I was referring to. Now see, it says $2 marked down to a dollar. Who are you going to believe? So what I would do is screenshot that. <laughs> Pardon me, what I would do is screenshot that, but I'm going back to my list and I'm going to touch that fan. Now this fan is saying $10, half price, $5. Okay, let me go back to the home screen. And I'm going to do shop by categories. And I'm just looking for anything else. I'm going back to buy it again. And I'm going to look for anything that I recently purchased at a remodel. Now, I'm looking at buy it again. It's showing me that same applesauce is 90 cents. So that tells me that the list is just acting crazy. You, this is why you need multiple ways to search so that you don't get your hopes up like I did. And see, it showed those party bags as 50% off. And now it's showing them as full price. Okay guys, I'm going to try to keep this as short as I can keep it. I'm going to show you, attempt to show you how to locate Dollar General locations. I use several methods and I combine my methods, but I'm not going to get that elaborate with you all because some of you just want to find locations near you. I'm not even signed into my Dollar General account because we all know that's just a standard general location. What I did was I opened up my internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome. I typed in Dollar General locations by state. I'm just going to pick a random state. Let's just pick, well, let's pick New York. I have a cousin who's a truck driver, and he actually told me that he was in New York and that he was driving through and he loves Dollar General. He stopped at a Dollar General and he um, saw a bunch of orange tags. So he sent me a picture and I told him, yeah, that store is going to re remodel. See all the different locations that they have in the state of New York. So if you guys live near any of these areas, what I would suggest is you just start searching from where you live. I'm going to start with a major city and I'll show you guys how I work my way out. I think we all know big cities like Syracuse, New York. So we'll click on that. and see how it's bringing up all the Dollar General locations. And what you can do is I'll take this zip code, I'll put this zip code into BrickSeek, and then I'll take a UPC code of some of the items that I know always go or typically go at most remodels. I know we have some food items that go a lot. It depends on really as far as when you're frequenting and you're trying to go to a remodel, what you actually want. If you're not interested in any of those dollar snacks because you don't eat them, 
then there's no need to search for items like that. If you want only items at a remodel that are home items, then find the items that you've seen in my video. I've shared a lot of UPC codes with you all. I hope you've been making note of that. And then you would put the UPC code into the BrickSeek search engine. So I just basically went to Dollar General Inventory Checker. I'm gonna go ahead and enter this UPC code. And I'm gonna search check in inventory. And it's spinning up at the top. I'll enlarge this window. Now, the regular price of this candle is $4.50. So as you can see, it's pulling up all of the Dollar General locations in this area. And there's that candle. So I'll cascade my window. I'll go back to this zip code. And all I'll do is highlight it so that I can copy it. Control C, that's how you copy. And then I'll come over here and I'll paste that same zip code, Control V. So, and then now that it's over here, I'll just click check inventory again. Let me enlarge this so you'll see. See how it repopulated the list? Now it's not showing anything, but you can see all these different Dollar General store locations. And you can even, and I use BrickSeek sometimes to just copy all of this, the store locations, and then I'll have it for a later date and I'll know what stores are within that certain area. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I actually did. I paused the video because I didn't wanna make this too long. And I searched some of the UPC, some of the zip codes, pardon me. And I pulled up, I put in the zip code for 101 Lawrence Road, Syracuse, okay? So I put that in and I click search or check inventory and look what it gave me. It gave me this location at, and it gave me the price. Now this 225 at this 6523 Columnar Road, Route 298 East Syracuse. And it's not even the same zip code, but it pulled up this zip code. I mean, don't know this area of New York, so this store must be within the parameters of that 13212 zip code. So that tells me these candles are 50% off. So this store is going to remodel. Okay. Now I'm looking at a store in North Syracuse with that same 13212 zip code. So this price of the candles are full price. This store is not remodeling at this date. So what I would do you can either either jot this location down on a sheet of notebook paper or let me close this window you can just open up your google drive i'll just go ahead and get a new google doc and i'll show you guys how i do it and you can just highlight this. Let me highlight it better. We don't want all that extra. You can just highlight. And stop right there. And I'll control C, copy that. I'll come over to a new Google Doc and I do control V and I paste that location and I'll enter here the date, which today is the 18th of when I actually found this location. 
and then I just continue on from there. So now that I know I have a store that's remodeling, I also know that it's a regular remodel. And what I mean by regular is it has more than just $1 food items because it has this candle. So from this stage, I'll go ahead and I'm going to end this portion of the video of how to find remodels with um, BrickSeek.